Bill Snopper here, and at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, we're ready to rock your world. It's the Rockin' Festival of Saving, with explosive power cord discounts on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Lease a new 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4, just $199 a month. And a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, just $199 a month. We're all amped up to give you a big cash for your trade and the credit help you deserve. Don't miss the Rockin' Festival of Savings, Route 23 in Sussex. Drive and Discover event. <laughs> Welcome to the Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. Good evening, everyone. Beautiful day here at the Auto Mall. It's always a beautiful day here at the Auto Mall. Come down and check out their great selection of new and used cars. You can lease a car. Uh, the customer service here, as we say every week, is the best, and they have the awards to back it up. So you'll come down here. It's a great experience. Always something going on here at the Auto Mall during the summer months, barbecues, uh, signings from professional players and also uh, bands and everything you want. It's a great experience to come down here buy a car. And this weekend, if you haven't already, go over there, get your tickets for Rocks, Ribs, and Ridges over at the county fairgrounds. So those, all those great Southern rock bands, Charlie Daniels, the Outlaws, Marshall Tucker. It's a great event that the uh, Auto Mall sponsors every year. Bill Snoffer and Eric Nielsen do a great job with that. Speaking of the Auto Mall and sponsoring, well, we had our spring Muggs Media Sports Awards Banquet over at Farmstead. Great job by the people of Farmstead. The food was delicious, as uh, the Auto Mall is the big sponsor here on the show and sponsors our awards banquet. And uh, we started off the spring awards banquet with our owner, Tyler Atkins, addressing the audience. I want to thank our title sponsor, uh, Bill Snoffer and Eric Nielsen, over at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall and Franklin Sussex Hyundai. Uh, they're the ones that really uh, allow us to be able to produce our shows and to be able to have awards uh, like this. So we thank them, and I've got to give them a plug because uh, they are a title sponsor. So if they always say you don't necessarily have to buy there, but at least give them a, an opportunity and a chance to come check them out. Uh, so I um, also want to thank the ADs, the coaches, and all the parents out there for getting your kids, uh, raising great kids, and getting them to the, you're doing all the, parents are doing all the driving and, and getting them to practices, and that's, uh, that's not easy. I have two kids, or three kids myself, two of them in sports now, so I know what that's like. Then it was on to give out the awards. It was my pleasure to do the rest of the, uh, the event, handing out the awards. It was a great, uh, a great event, as always, and uh, we were really happy everyone could make it. Here is the Golfer of the Year. Our Golf Player of the Year, um, he was unable to make it today, a family commitment, but a pretty cool story. He was a baseball player most of his life, and he golfed just for fun. After his sophomore year, the golf coach saw him over at Mohawk and said, who's that kid swinging the golf club like that? They said, oh, it's Jack Simon. He plays baseball. They said, boy, that kid should be on the links. Well, he, lo and behold, he comes out for the team last year and makes an impact as a junior and starts playing golf for the great Sparta golf team. This year, the Sparta golf team was the best team in the area. Uh, they put, won their third straight American title in the NJAC. Um, they were the top team from the area in the HWS. And Jack, over the course of the season, his average was .08 over par for nine holes. So he's basically a scratch golfer for a guy who just joined the high school team a couple of years ago. The team went 20 and 1, won the section once again, went to the TOC. Uh, at the sections, he came in fifth with an 82. At the tournament of champions, he shot a 74, which was 10th, but good enough for second in group two. And at the HWS, he shot a 73 to win the event, first time for any Sparta golfer, which says a lot because Sparta has a great golf tradition. And he shot a 72 at the NJAC tournament as well. He's also a heck of a basketball player. And uh, <clears throat> One of the most thrilling moments I covered all this year was a double overtime basketball game, Sparta and Jefferson, and he hit the, the game-winning shot to win it. So a well-rounded young athlete. As we said, he couldn't make it here, but accepting for him is his coach, Jerry Carter. So our Franklin says his own all, Franklin says his Hyundai golfer of the year, Jack Simon from Sparta.
coach. I had perhaps the best year anybody at Sparta's had since I've been the coach. I can't really speak from before that. His scoring average was under a stroke over par. He came in second in a lot of major tournaments, won the HWS, was, you know, steady, consistent uh, between him and Jimmy. They led our team all season. And uh, Jack was just, I haven't had anybody, I don't think, that scored as well as he did and in as many tournaments did as well as he did. Then we gave out the baseball awards. For a long time at Muggs Media, Mike Wildman, a great writer, he covered baseball. Uh, he couldn't do it this year due to work constraints with his job at MLB.com. So uh, I always kept an interest in baseball, but I mostly covered softball, but I did both this year. And it just reinforced what I already knew, that there's some great baseball up in this area. Uh, it doesn't get maybe the credit it deserves, but when you look at the teams this year, what Pope John did, High Point doing what they did, uh, just some of the great teams. Uh, you know, Vernon had a good year, what Jefferson did last year. It's just a lot of fun to watch the baseball up here. So to be considered the top baseball team up here, you're a pretty darn good club. Well, this year, this team, 23-8, and eight, started the season with a couple early season losses, but that's to be expected because coming out of the gate, as every coach in this room knows, the weather was awful. And there's certain sports you can adapt a little bit better, but baseball and softball, not so much. You're stuck inside. You can be in the cages. You can do as much as you can, but you can only do so much. So they got off to a little bit of a rough start, but turned things around. And this team went on a great run. They ended up sharing the NJAC American Division with Mount Olive. Uh, they were able to beat their arch rival Sparta twice, which is always a big thing for either school. And they won the Hunter Warren Sussex Tournament, which was a historic feat in, on two, two terms. One, they won it without allowing a run throughout their, attorney, their entire run through the tourney, which was amazing. Uh, Trevor Backman was able to beat Vernon 8-0. Sean Roberts, no-hit kid, uh, Newton in 10 innings, and then Roberts won the championship by beating High Point 7 to nothing. And it was historic that High Point made the final. Two local teams, that's never happened in the HWS. Then they continued to do well. They beat Don Bosco for the second time this season. They played one of the toughest schedules, not only around here, but in the state of New Jersey. Coach Vinny Bello does not back away from anyone. He'll play anyone, anywhere, whether his team is a bunch of sophomores or a great senior group, which they had this year. And what a great senior group. Justin Provost at, at third base, senior leader, terrific hitter. You just go around the whole infield, Davian Sanchez, George Summers, the freshman, Eddie Ventresca, who's got a great future, uh, Hunter Silvernail, a catcher, and you've got that outfield with Millar and Casey and Jake Wells, every game I went to seemed to make a great catch in the outfield. And then you got Kevin Putsky, who did a great job as a DH, and then the, one of the best pitching staffs I've ever seen in all the years I've been covering up here, Sean Roberts, Sean Miller, Trevor Backman, and Jake Wells. And I wrote this in my blog when they won the HWS. It says a lot about a young man like Trevor Backman, the starting pitcher he's going to Marist. He's the captain of the team. Usually your captains are the guys that are playing every day. Trevor was a starting pitcher, but he got so much respect from the rest of his teammates that he was the captain of the team and kept them going. Uh, they made a great run. They got to the section final, came up a little short against a very good Del Barton team, which ended up winning it all. But uh, another great year for this baseball program and a great senior class. So we're about Muggs Media, Franklin Sussex Ormwell, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Baseball, Team of the Year, the Pope John Lions. We definitely uh, worked very hard in the offseason, uh, the seniors, um, you know, and they came in ready to go. We had some setbacks in the beginning of the year, and uh, they kind of banded together. And, uh, you know, the hats off to the guys like Trevor Backman, Sean Roberts, Provost, um, Casey, you know, Sylvanale, Sanchez, Summers, they kind of banded together as seniors and, and, uh, and gave us a great run. Our next award is Coach of the Year. And you don't have great baseball teams without great baseball coaches or any sport. You have to have great coaching. Vinnie Bell, well over 300 wins. What Ryan Ellis did at High Point this year, getting the team into the section final for the first time since uh, 2000, first time ever into the HWS. Scott Berge turned around a Vernon baseball program that had kind of struggled, got them in their winning ways. But uh, this coach did something real special. Um, the Colonial Division was, has always been a very tightly contested division. It houses Opacon, Sussex Tech, uh, North Warren, Kittatinny, and Walkill Valley, and until last year, Newton. Newton's been one of the top teams around for the last couple of years. Um, obviously, Newton made the finals at the HWS last year. So when Newton went to the Freedom Division, this division was left wide open. And as I said, 
Kittatinny probably had one of its best teams it's had in a while. On paper, Wilkill Valley looked to be the favorites with great players. But this coach got his team together to win another title. He's been at the school 19 years and has had great success as a coach. Uh, at a small school that fluctuates between Group 1 and Group 2, and Halsell has a very successful boys lacrosse program, it's tough to get the numbers. But he's able to do it, and every year when I see a, one of his teams play, always fundamentally sound. They went 15-7, and 8-0 in the Colonial Division, able to beat everyone twice. They were able to beat Sussex Tech 4-3 uh, to, to clinch the division. And they had one of the best players around. He was a candidate for player of the year, uh, like the, you know, right, right with the guy that we selected, Hunter DePrimo. He went 7-1 and one with a 0.49 ERA. He had 95 Ks, which is, he was a flamethrower. And then he could hit the ball. He hit 380. He was a terrific player. Jared Vuzz had a great year at shortstop and pitching, hit 370. Josh Colon switching between first and third when those guys weren't pitching. Kids like Ron Lubertazzo, who provided a lot of leadership. Um, they win the division. They win two state games on the road as an 11th seed. And it always seems like when this team gets in the states, they always upset someone along the line, and that's because of the coaching. Uh, it's a small school, but it's got great tradition for baseball. He's been part of it for 19 years. Before that, Rich Fox had some great teams. So our Franklin Sussex Automobile, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Baseball Coach of the Year from North Warren, Jim Howe. We had a very good year, and uh, you know the biggest thing about this year that kind of separates it from from all the other years I've coached is really the kids. Um, the kids really got along. We just had a great camaraderie, and we had a great team chemistry, and, and certainly that doesn't go unnoticed because uh, you know we were able to put the wins you know in, in the W column. So that of course makes it a good season, I guess. But ultimately, you know, and the coaching staff um, will tell you. This was just a lot of fun for all of us because all the kids were there and, and they just enjoyed it and enjoyed our time together. And, you know, with all the rain we had this spring, it was a, a tremendous kind of grind, so to speak, to, to, to spend every day working, preparing and, and playing. So, um, you know, we were able to do a great job in our division. And then, you know, outside our division, you know, it was a little tough, but we had that nice one-two punch of pitchers in our division that, that gave us a chance and then gave us a chance in the state playoffs as well. Our next award is Baseball Player of the Year. And... It was along the same theme with all the talent. It was tough to pick one, but this young man really kind of jumped out. And the minute I asked this coach, it was not even a second thought about it, that we were leaning towards this young man all along. He had a great junior year for, for Pope John, part of that now senior class that made the history happen. But uh, he went out this year and was just the best all-around hitter. He could hit for average. He needed a single, he'd get that. He needed a bomb, he'd hit one over the fence. He hit the building, I think, against Union Catholic. That was a blast. But just could do it all. You know, hit 457, 42 hits, 17 of those were extra base hits, six homers, 30 RBIs. That's a lot of RBIs when you only play about 30 games. 25 runs scored. And the other unique thing about him, he was right in the middle of that lineup, and it was a great lineup, him and Hunter Silvernail in the middle of that lineup uh, driving and runs to find the power. But Pope John, if you know, um, in baseball, they play their home games on turf. So when you're playing the majority of your games on turf, it's a different animal when you're playing the infield, and even more so if you're playing third base. They call it the hot corner for a reason, and it comes a lot faster when you're playing on that rug. And the games I've watched with him playing third base, I don't think I saw him make an error. And there was no one better I've seen on the high school level this year or in years past that could come in with the bare hand on the bunt and get the ball to first base. Now, Davian Sanchez did a great job at first base corralling a lot of the throws, but for him to get there and do that was terrific. So not only can he swing the bat, Great defensively, a quiet leader, a gentleman to talk to after the games. Always nice to speak with him. And he's going to go to my alma mater, Rowan, so I'm going to be pulling for him there. So our Franklin Says His Automobile, Franklin Says His Hyundai, Baseball Player of the Year for Pope John High School, Justin Provost. I just wanted to uh, finish out with a bit like a bang. Uh, did it all for my mom this year, so... Uh, I mean, that felt good to uh, do it for her. And uh, next year, I um, hope I start rowing, have a great year there, and uh, help them win the championship. All right, when we come back here on the Franklin Sisters Automobile, Franklin Sisters Hyundai Sports Beat, we'll show you who won in softball, and we'll have those awards right after these messages here on Channel 10 and MugsMedia.com. Bill Snopper here, and at Franklin Sisters Automobile, we're ready to rock your world. It's the Rockin' Festival of Savings. 
with explosive power cord discounts on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Lease a new 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4, just $199 a month. And a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, just $199 a month. We're all amped up to give you big cash for your trade and the credit help you deserve. Don't miss the Rockin' Festival of Savings, Route 23 in Sussex. Drive and Discover event. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, specializing in public entity risk management, loss control, and self-insured alternatives. Put your trust in Arthur J. Gallagher locally by contacting George Moorville, who served Sussex County schools and municipalities for over 40 years. Arthur J. Gallagher and George Moorville support Sussex County athletes and charities. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, business without barriers. For more information, call George Moorville at 973-383-3110. Eastern Propane remains dedicated to our founding principles of personalized service, quality products, and exceptional technical expertise. We offer comprehensive, single-source solutions including the planning, design, installation, and ongoing maintenance of your propane gas systems and appliances. Our friendly delivery technicians provide you with safe and efficient deliveries ensuring uninterrupted propane service. Whether your needs are large or small, Eastern Propane offers more ways to serve you better. United Water is now Suez, safe, clean water for the communities they serve. Sussex County Sheriff's Crime Stoppers is a nonprofit organization that encourages cooperation between the citizens of Sussex County and the Sussex County Sheriff's Department. If you have information relating to a crime or criminal activity in Sussex County, please contact us. If your tip leads to an arrest, you could receive a reward of up to $1,000. Contact us at 973-300-CRIME or through our website at www.sussexcountysheriff.com. Thank you. This message made possible by DNH Risk Solutions. For more information, go to risksolutions.com. Sussex County Community College is a great place to branch out and figure out what suits you best and what fits you as an individual. The array of classes that they offer it was perfect. Professors will go out of their way for you. They'll sit with you until you understand completely. It was the right choice for me because it would save me money and I would be able to get all my gen eds done before you're moving on to a four-year university. Visit us at sussex.edu to find out more. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. Welcome back to the Franklin Sussex Automobile, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary, coming to you as we do every week from Route 23 in Wanage. So be right across from the Quick Check. If you don't know where the automobile is now, you must be living under a rock in this area. It's uh, the destination place to get your car. Summer's here. Time to go out and get that new or used car. Come here at the sister dealership, Franklin Sussex Hyundai. Well, we'll go back to Farmstead where we had our spring awards. It was also Father's Day. Again, a belated Father's, uh, happy Father's Day to everyone out there. Hope you enjoyed your day. I want to thank the fathers that came to that banquet, taking time out of their special day. Well, the next awards we handed out were the softball awards. Just like the baseball team, this team for Pope John never backs away from a challenge. Frank Canning, who's been there a long time, well over 300 wins. I've known Frank since all the way back in my Herald days. And Frank, like Vinnie Bell, never backs away from a challenge. He'll play anyone, anytime. If there's a tournament to be played, he'll go play it. And when it's time to get scrimmages, if there's weather good enough to have scrimmages, he'll go down to South Jersey when he has a chance. He'll play everyone. They threw off the season this year playing, at the time, the number one ranked team in the state, Donovan Catholic. They played a very good team from Pennsylvania. So the record really didn't reflect how good they were. Um, but then once they hit league play, they started to win some games. They beat Mount Olive, who had a very good team this year. They beat Sparta. Uh, then they ended up beating Jefferson, who some people may <laughs> thought Jefferson might have been the favorite in that division. What folk John do? They go out and go beat them. So they just started putting together a run. And it was a, during, during the time they struggled with Coach Canning, showing you know, what a great coach he is. He shuffled things up in the infield, moved some players around, and he found the right recipe for success. So they end up going on a terrific run. They get to the HWS final, beating a good kid at Tinney team. They beat Sparta in the semifinals, and then they beat North Hunterdon, who made it, made it to the Group 4 state finals, and uh, beat them in the finals 3-0, uh, getting a couple of big home runs, Sam Henry, and, uh, and, uh, and again, another home run, for, I believe it was a, was a Cat or Kayla? Cat, Cat Fassbender with a home run. 
and uh, just went on a great run. And then their reward for that is in the states, they get to play DePaul in the first round, who is the Passaic County champs. So North Non-Public A, a meat grinder in most sports. So you figure you, you're the best team in your area. You're going to get this great seed and play maybe someone that you can deal with and then get ready for a good team. But right out of the gate, they had to play DePaul, beat DePaul one to nothing. Uh, this team had a lot of talent on it. Amber Powers uh, going to shortstop. We talked about Cat Fassbender, uh, Kayla Hillebrand, Sam Henry, Marissa Russo, uh, Brianna Lair, Riley Winstock, Jess Widom, Haley O'Connor, uh, just all great players. But, you know, it all started, and we'll be talking about her in the middle, in a second, in the middle in the circle. Gabby Bubba was unflappable. No matter what the situation, she found a way to get out of it, and she helped them have a great year. So our Franklin Susses Hyundai, Franklin Susses Automall Softball Team of the Year, the Pope John Lions. I expected us to be good at the beginning of the year, and, uh, you know, I gave us our toughest schedule, I th you know, or one of the toughest schedules we ever had. And the girls were really prepared. You know, we lost a few close games, but this team never was frazzled. I mean, they, they were in every game that we lost, but it prepared them for the big games, you know, for the winning our conference and especially the HWS, uh, which we faced a very good team in North Hunterton. And I, I just I uh, just found out that uh, North Hunterton was rated number 10 in the state. And Michael Conception uh, Lodi was either fourth or fifth, and they went to the Tournament of Champions finals, and we beat both of those teams. So it gives you an idea of the kind of schedule we played, and we were competitive in every game, which I expected us to be. Our uh, next award is Coach of the Year for Softball. Uh, this coach was an outstanding player in her day back at High Point High School. Uh, they had some very good teams back then, and she was a big part of it. Uh, she came to Vernon and started her teaching career, took over the program from Billy Foley. And, uh, you know, and she'll tell you, and everyone tell you, they struggled a little bit. Um, softball wasn't the priority on the lower levels that it had been in the past, and she started to try to make a change to make that happen, and, you know, other people started to come on board. So this team, when the SEIO broke up, it was thrown into the large school division, and rightfully so, because at the time it was a group four, but it struggled going against the Roxburys and the Pope Johns and the Spartans. It just wasn't there yet. But the team continued to battle hard. There was always good players, but just not enough at the same time to go against that type of competition. Well, a youth movement started a couple of years ago, and uh, the, cl the class that are juniors now really started getting things turned around. Uh, kids like Frankie Pataki and Gianna Vazzaloni really get the, the, the program going. Regina Incarnado was pitching. So last year they won nine games, got into the state tournament for the first time in a long time, and really laid the foundation. And then due to the, the enrollment drop at Vernon, they became a group two school, so they were put in the Freedom Division. So they got off to a good start in the Freedom Division. They had an early season game against a perennial power in Lenape Valley. Now, everyone on the Vernon side felt they could win that game, and everyone that follows softball was saying, okay, how do you do against Lenape? Well, all they did was go out and beat them 19-4 to and just really opened up a lot of eyes around the area. This young team is legit. So they just went out, had a great year, went undefeated in the Freedom Division, uh, got a home state game for the first time since the early 2000s, won two state tournament games, uh, beating Lenape Valley. I'm sure Bill Moore was sick of seeing you guys after a while. Uh, beat them for a, a third time, then they beat Hawthorne, and then they went against the section champ. Ramsey came up a little short, but uh, they have a great team, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll mention as many as I can because the whole team is basically coming back except for their great senior leader, Ali Latham. But the, the, the kids on this team, Tori Grafone, as a freshman pitcher, really can hit and pitch, and everyone knows in, in softball, if you have a pitcher, that's a great, where, great place to start. Then you also have Olivia Vizzini at third base, a power hitter can field, and sort of like I talked about Justin Provo, she plays on turf and plays third base. And in softball, small ball is a big part of the game, and she does a great job there. Uh, Gabby Colon, Olivia Omarosi. Uh, as we mentioned, Frankie Pataki, she got hurt later in the year, was a pinch runner. It was great to have her back doing that. Natalie Alhite, Nicole Strubel. Um, you know, the list goes on. Everyone's coming back, and she's a lot of fun that Kerry stuck with the program and everyone stuck with her. And they got a good future coming along. And uh, also she had an assistant coach come on, Mandy Hoffman, this year. So I told Billy Foley, Mandy gets, has to get a raise 
First time she comes in coach, you guys win 19 games. So <laughs> we'll put a good word in for you, Mandy. So uh, a great year for Vernon Saltball, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch how they develop over the next few years. They might be up here taking a Team of the Year award. No pressure, Kerry, but uh, a great job by Kerry Ludekin this year, our Franklin Sussex Automobile, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Softball Coach of the Year. just very excited to be here thank you first of all and it's just an outstanding year uh, it was an easy year when you have such a great team backing you and they work so well together and I'm so proud of them so my thoughts are it's been a great accomplishment I can't wait to see next year since I have 99 percent of them back we're gonna move the player of the year and uh, as we've done here and I'll explain to people who haven't been here before when we pick two players it's not co each of them are the player of the year we have the luxury of saying these two young individuals are players of the year. You know, who's to say we got to pick just the one? Uh, I know a few years back we set a, a, a precedent where, and Steve Carlson, remember, in 2011, we picked three kids for lacrosse player of the year because each one of them were equally deserving, and that's how we do it here at Muggs Media. So we have two players a year for softball. Our first player, unfortunately, couldn't make it here. Uh, she hit 500 this year, 36 for 72. And if anyone knows Coach Canning like I do, his numbers are not fudged. You know, sometimes you get numbers you read like, wow, that kid's great. How come the team won five games? Pope John coach Frank Canning stats are always on. Uh, had nine RBIs because she moved to the leadoff position. She batted in the middle of the lineup for most of her career. Six doubles. She walked 12 times because people didn't want to deal with her. Um, she also was a first baseman, but she was moved to shortstop. She finishes tied with her sister Kaylee. The all-time leader in hits at Pope John with 152, and she's the last of the Powers family. Brooke Powers had a great career at Pope John. She went on, played a year at Ithaca, then went to Montclair State, where she's now an assistant coach. Kaylee Powers was just named uh, the Rookie of the Year in, that, in, the, in the NJAC of the college division, and they're getting a good one with Amber. So, unfortunately, Amber can't come up here, but if Coach Frank Cannon can come up to accept our Franklin Sussex Automobile, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Softball Player of the Year, Amber Powers from Pope John. I'm going to miss it. I mean, I had three, uh, had all three sisters, and uh, Amber was just as good as her other two sisters. I mean, I knew Amber could play any place. I mean, and uh, hitting-wise, I mean, she uh, tied her sister for the school record of 152 uh, career hits, and uh, she was in, always in on uh, a lot of our rallies, and, uh, you know, she didn't have as many RBIs as she had previous years, but that's because I moved her from the number three or four spot to the leadoff spot. But then she, uh, you know, she scored a lot of runs. Player of the Year for softball also hails from Pope John. She stepped into the circle last year. Pope John had a returning pitcher, Izzy Hilling, who was battling some injuries, and this young lady stepped into the circle and put the team on her shoulders and did a terrific job last year. Uh, they uh, played very well, and she just got better and better as the years have gone on. She's been playing softball a long time, youth level, always excelled, and this year she really put it together. Her record was 14-7, and seven, but if you ask Coach Canning, you know, that wasn't because the seven losses, none of them were because of her. She went out and pitched her heart out every game. Now in softball, you got throwers and you have pitchers. Is the kids that go out there and then throw 65 miles an hour and you can't touch it. But they also maybe walk 10 kids a game. Then you have the kid out there that plays the mental game and knows how to work the sides of the plate. Knows when to go up and down, when to change speeds. Well, that was this pitcher. She was tremendous. Unflappable is the word I used before. Every time I saw her pitch, even though she told me beforehand she'd shake before games, you would never know when she was in the circle. So I guess when she crossed that white line, she was, she was good to go. Uh, again, she beat Lodi Immaculate, which made the Tournament of Champions final, uh, and they lost IHA in a walk-off. Um, just to some of the great teams that she was able to beat, beating Sparta twice, who went against Paige Smith, who's a terrific pitcher from Sparta. But she just went out there and did her job. She only allowed 25 earned runs and 153 in the third innings pitch at a 0 0.14 ERA, 127 strikeouts. Now, she was saying to me, well, I don't strike a lot of people out, but that's still a lot of strikeouts. And more importantly, as a coach in baseball and softball, it's when you get those strikeouts. If it ends the inning with someone on second and third, that's a big strikeout. And that's what she was able to do. She never let it get to her. And then she went going against those great pitchers. She answered the call. Uh, a lot of people thought North Hunterdon was going to win that Hunterdon Warren Celsius tournament. 
Uh, Maggie Swan, a very good pitcher, was getting a lot of ink. Everyone was saying Maggie Swan, Maggie Swan. But at the end of the day, it was Gabby Bubba who threw a shutout to get that championship, the second for Pope John. So a terrific two-year run for her, and uh, she's going to go to Susquehanna University. So our Muggs Media, uh, Franklin says his Ball, Franklin says his Hyundai, softball player of the year from Pope John, Gabby Bubba. Ever since I was little, my dad always says that pitching was more of a mental game than an actual physical game because you have to make sure that you keep the batter off balance before just trying to blow the ball by them. And like my game is I don't throw 65, 66 miles an hour. I work my off-speed pitches and I use my movement to get batters out instead of just trying to get strikeouts and blow the ball by people. All right, I appreciate Frank Canning and the nice things he had to say about Muggs Media and us here at the the sports, we appreciate that, Frank. You do a great job, and softball up here is great every year. We'll have more here on the Sports Beat right after these messages here on Channel 10 and MugsMedia.com. Bill Snopper here, and at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, we're ready to rock your world. It's the Rockin' Festival of Saving with explosive power cord discounts on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Lease a new 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4, just $199 a month. And a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, just $199 a month. We're all amped up to give you a big cash for your trade and the credit help you deserve. Don't miss the Rockin' Festival of Savings, Route 23 in Sussex. Drive and Discover event. Sussex County Sheriff's Crime Stoppers is a nonprofit organization that encourages cooperation between the citizens of Sussex County and the Sussex County Sheriff's Department. If you have information relating to a crime or criminal activity in Sussex County, please contact us at 973-300-CRIME or go to our website www.sussexcountysheriff.com. Remember, you remain anonymous and you could receive a potential reward of up to $1,000 if your tip leads to an arrest. This message made possible by DNH Risk Solutions. For more information, go to risksolutions.com. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland pop, Banks, pop, pop money. money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Welcome back to the Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. Again, summer's here. It's officially here. The weather has kind of been summerish lately, but now it's officially summer on the calendar. So you're going to be driving to the shore or going up north to the mountains. Wherever you're going, you want to be in a safe vehicle, come down here, check out the large selection of new and used cars. They'll fit a financial deal that will work in your plans. You can lease, you can buy. They'll find a way to get it, get it done. They'll put you in that car that you need. Want to thank. Uh, Bill Snoffer, and congratulations to Ryan Snoffer. We said it last week. He's doing well on the Canadian tour, playing golf. Hopefully, he'll be down here. And uh, we just saw the PGA open uh, the other day. Maybe he'll be uh, playing in that someday. And that would be awesome for him, Ryan Snoffer, a terrific golfer. Well, next up on the awards was the Boys Lacrosse Awards. Unfortunately, no one can make it from our team of the year. Everyone had a tournament today. I know it's a big weekend for uh, lacrosse. Uh, the head coach of the team, Tyler Meth, is the director of Building Blocks Lacrosse, so they were at a tournament. But uh, it was an interesting year for this team. Last year, they went 21-1, and became the first team ever from the county to win the HWS tournament, and they were able to beat North Hunterdon, and then they lost to Chatham in the States. But uh, head coach Tyler Meth, when he took over the program five years ago, his goal was, not, was to take Sparta from being not just a great team from the area and in North Jersey, but to become a state power. And in order to do that, they needed to go play the Del Bartons, the Mountain Lakes, the Seton Hall Preps, the Westfields, the Summits. So he joined the Fitch Pitt Division in lacrosse, which everyone follows lacrosse right up there with the Gibbs Division as the top teams. Everyone I just mentioned is in that division except for Mountain Lakes. They're in the Gibbs. And they went out there and they took the lumps. And uh, it, was a little, it was inopportune because they started the season with four major injuries, including uh, Devin McIntyre, who hurt his ankle during a hoop season, and... Uh, also, Jesse West, one of their best players. But they battled. They, got, they lost to Chatham on opening day, 14-1, but came back to beat Westfield and West Essex. And they were able to knock off a very good Pope John team in the HWS. 
and they, they took their lumps, but they, this is a learning process that's going to make them one of the best teams around, like Pope John Baseball and Softball playing the best. This is what this program's doing, and I, no doubt in my mind, with a great feeder system in the town of Sparta, this team will win a state championship in the near future. Uh, they got a lot of young kids coming back, but this year some of the kids, Stelios Crudos, terrific season. Jesse West, when he came back from the injury, Devin McIntyre, Alex Milliken, uh, you know, in goal, Reed McCall when he started playing. Um, uh, Will McKenna on defense, Patty Finnegan. Uh, just a real good team, um, and they got some young team players coming back. They won a couple of games in states before they lost to Ramapo, who ended up winning the state title. So the future's bright. Although they only went 9-10 and 10 overall, they were by far the best team up here. So unfortunately, they can't make it here tonight, or this evening, or this morning, I should say. But our uh, uh, Franklin Sessions Automall, Franklin Sessions Hyundai, Boys across team of the year with the Sparta Spartans. I think on, on paper, the season um, kind of gets pinned as a transition year uh, or something like that. But uh, I was really, really impressed with the guys. I think it was a great, a great year for us. It was the next step, um, and it really challenged us. And we had to get out of that bubble that we were in, wanted to play the best teams around. Uh, we certainly accomplished that. And I thought uh, we came in, or we left, better than when we came in a couple months prior. Our next award is Coach of the Year. And uh, being in the position I'm in, I get to know a lot of coaches and a lot of players. And I can honestly say, in all my years, I started doing this back in 1988, I have a great relationship with all the coaches. All of them are great. Uh, but th this guy, I, we just kind of hit it off. I don't, not saying anything bad against the other coaches. I like the way he approached the game. I like the way he treated his kids. He was always appreciated of, of the coverage, and he's a guy that just loves the game of lacrosse. He started the feeder program in Jefferson when he got out of college. Jefferson, when he was there, did not have lacrosse. I mean, Mike Yonko probably would not allow that with the baseball team. He would have allowed no lacrosse, but uh, got the lacrosse going on the youth level. Came back to the school as an assistant coach to the great Harry Shortway, who I always say along with George Morville, is the Pied Piper of lacrosse in Sussex County, and he learned under Harry, and all those 25 different zone defenses and all the stuff that Harry goes through. So he learned and he got the program going. Well, the last three years, they've done very well winning the uh, NJAC Colonial Division, but they did something special this year. Went 17-4, and four, won the Pooley Division and the NJAC Colonial, winning two divisions. And, and boys lacrosse, you can do that. Uh, they got the fifth seed in the section tournament. They got a home game, won it, beat West Milford. Unfortunately, he ran into his buddy Harry again and uh, lost in states. But just a, a great season. They had a couple of hiccups in the middle where they lost to Lenape and Vernon, but they battled back and won those titles, beating some good teams like North Warren and Newton and beating Booton to get the, the championship. But uh, there was a fun team to watch. I got to see them play in person, I think, three times. Uh, Ian Priswada got his 100th goal. Uh, Brian Pascarello, Alex Lemming, which is tremendous. And then uh, Matt Capello, just a freshman, along with Jefferson Felter. So the future's bright there. But the, there was the guys in the back I liked watching play, Logan Hollerritter, Matt Vance, the two long poles in the back, and Brandon Vance in goal. And, uh, you know, every, all the coaches here all have great assistants. I was told a long time ago the best assistant coaches are coaches that were head coaches in other sports or that, that sport. Well, he has a staff, and Travis Gage, who does a great job with the Jefferson uh, boys soccer team, and James McDermott, who does the girls basketball team. Two of those gentlemen, as well as Scott, have won our coach of the year. So it just shows what a great staff and dedication they have to the game of lacrosse. So our Franklin Sisters on Wall, Franklin Sisters Hyundai, boys lacrosse, coach of the year from Jefferson High School, Scott Reed. Congratulations. It was fantastic. We, uh, so we went 17 and four, which was the second most wins we've had in school history, matched last year's total. Um, had a great run at home. We have a nice new turf facility. has been in for a couple of years, so we went undefeated at home, which was really cool. And um, just an amazing year. Like uh, a lot of accomplishments. Won two leagues. We're in the Pooley Division, and we're in the uh, NJAC Colonial. It was also our third time in a row winning the NJAC. So it was uh, just a great senior class. Um, kids I'm going to miss quite a bit, and uh, it was just a fantastic ending for them and, and very inspiring for our kids who are, who are coming back next year to try to keep it going. Our final boys lacrosse award is our player of the year. Unfortunately, he's playing in a tournament. And uh, he's just a junior, but he's already committed to play at Villanova, a top program. Um, this year, he had 46 goals, 15 assists for 61 points. Also picked up 38 ground balls. 
Now, we talked about Sparta, how they switched divisions. Last year, he had 80 goals. This year, he had 46. Well, you say, well, he didn't play as well. He had a much better year this year, scoring 46 against the Del Bartons and the Mountain Lakes and the Seton Hall Preps and the Westfield, and it's going to make him a better player when he finally gets to the next level. Uh, in, two, in his career, he has 154 goals scored, 46 assists for 200 points. He had the game-winning goal when they beat West Sussex. He had five goals in that game, five goals and a win over Morristown Beard. Uh, terrific program, and uh, hopefully, you know, in, no injuries and everything's good. He should break the county record, which is all the Sparta record, of 169 goals set by our Player of the Year from last year, Owen Mead, who had a great year at Rutgers. If you follow across, Owen was a big part of the Rutgers renaissance. So our uh, Franklin Sussex Automobile, Franklin Sussex Hyundai, Boys Across Player of the Year from Sparta, Stelios Kudos. We're all pumped. We're glad to be finally captains and ready to lead the team. Uh, we've been here since day one uh, as a freshman, so we know what, what it's like. We've been through a lot of changes, uh, and I think it's definitely going to be a great experience. All right, another good year for Sparta boys and girls lacrosse. And as I said at the podium, it's not going to be long for that Sparta boys team wins a section or a state title, and the girls team already got that section title. They're going to get a state title. I just feel it. Sparta is such a good lacrosse town. Before we go to break, I want to let everyone know, Mugs Media, not just the sports beat and the games of the week. We love doing it, but we're a full-service video production house. Corporate videos, commercial videos, videos for your social uh, media websites. Anything you need, we can do it. Send an email to info, info at mugsmedia.com. Also, football season, folks. I know you can't believe it, but driving through town before, Pope John was practicing, Sparta was practicing, Lenny Valley is going to be practicing. Football season just seems like it never ends, but if you want to be part of the great football action here on Channel 10 at MugsMedia.com, send us an email at info, info at MugsMedia.com as we are looking for sponsors for the football season. We'll have more here on the Sports Beat right after these messages here on Channel 10 at MugsMedia.com. Bill Snopper here, and at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, we're ready to rock your world. It's the Rockin' Festival of Savings with explosive power cord discounts on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Lease a new 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4, just $199 a month. And a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, just $199 a month. We're all amped up to give you a big cash for your trade and the credit help you deserve. Don't miss the Rockin' Festival of Savings, Route 23 in Sussex. Drive and Discover event. When it comes to caring for the unexpected, take comfort in knowing that our emergency department is prepared and equipped to take care of all patients' needs, from minor injuries to more advanced life-threatening illnesses, like heart attacks and strokes. No other provider can match the experience, commitment to quality, and access to state-of-the-art technology available at Newton Medical Center. And as part of Atlantic Health System, we are also the only facility seamlessly connected to all the resources and medical experts at Morristown Medical Center and our sister hospitals for the breadth of high-quality and nationally-ranked services offered throughout our network. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, specializing in public entity risk management, loss control, and self-insured alternatives. Put your trust in Arthur J. Gallagher locally by contacting George Morville, who served Sussex County schools and municipalities for over 40 years. Arthur J. Gallagher and George Morville support Sussex County athletes and charities. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, business without barriers. For more information, call George Morville at 973 973- 383-3110. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lake Lim Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sinner, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland Banks Pop Money, the easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Attention high school athletes, weekend warriors, and seniors. Therapeutics Unlimited is a physical therapy and sports rehab provider. Therapeutics Unlimited also provides pediatrics and vestibular therapy. Therapeutics Unlimited uses cutting-edge technology for personal one-on-one -on -one physical therapy with the goal of getting the patient to a full and speedy recovery. Therapeutics Unlimited with four locations in Sussex and Morris counties. In Sussex, Sparta and Andover in Morris County, Randolph and Morristown. For more information, visit TURehab.com. 
Welcome back to the Franklin Sessions Auto Mall, Franklin Sessions Hyundai Sports Beat. Our next award was Boys Tennis Player of the Year. And it just seems like over the last few years with tennis, it's been a pattern. We get one kid that comes in as a freshman and they own that award for four years. It was Freddie Marcinkowski before that. We had Andrew Wang uh, from, Sparta, uh, from Sparta and from Pope John. I think Jeremy Van Harwardy won it like three years in a row. But we had that pattern going again, and I don't see any reason why it's not going to stop. Uh, this young man as a sophomore was by far the best player in the area, and uh, he had to do it the hard way. He battled a hip injury all season. And obviously, if any, any sport, the hip is so important. But if you can't hit a backhand in tennis, you're not expected to be at that highest level. So he had to deep down look inside and figure out a way to win, and that's exactly what he did. As we said, the best team, best, best player in the area, he was 10-4 and four in the regular season, qualified for the state singles tournament again. Uh, and they played Sparta this year. Mike Willie, the head coach, picked up some real good independent teams. Milburn, Seton Hall Prep, some of the top teams in North Jersey to make this team better. And they were a very good team this year, but he was the leader at, at first singles. And just talking about gutting things out, he got to the finals of the HWS tournament for the second straight year. He had to retire after one set because that the hip was just barking. But he learned, he told me before, he learned so much from this year. I mean, yeah, he wish he had a better record, but 10-4, and four, nothing to sneeze out in the regular season when you're playing that competition. But he learned about the mental side of the sport and how to continue to mature as a player. And sometimes that's more important than just physical gifts. And in, the, in the golf and tennis, the mental, I mean, every sport mental, but if you have the mental part down and that mental toughness, you can go a long way. So I'm uh, very excited to see how this young man, healthy next year, let's stay healthy and uh, get that HWS title for the first time, and uh, he has a great future ahead of him. So our Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Franklin Sussex Hyundai, boys tennis player here from Sparta, Nick Matuski. So last year, um, we obviously did not play as tough a competition. This year we got more teams like Milburn, Seen Hall Prep, teams that are like higher ranked in the state. And coupled with my injury, I had to find ways to like meet that competition and uh, I think I did cope well. I mean, I didn't do as well as I wanted to, but it still turned out to be a pretty good year. And then we handed out the Boys Volleyball Player of the Year. I've, I've watched this uh, young man on the basketball court the last few years, a part of that Dynamite Pope John Boys basketball team, and just watched him really emerge as a force out there when he was in there. He really came into his own as a basketball player. Well, he never played volleyball until his freshman year. He's obviously a tall guy. You'll see when he comes up and gets the award. So everyone must assume, oh, you play basketball, you do that. But he's also an outstanding student, folks. So that's a big part of what makes this young man who he, what he is. Uh, not just a physical specimen, but he also has the brains to go along it. And he puts it together on the basketball court. He never saw him make a bad move or a bad decision. And on the volleyball floor, just dominant. Um, it says a lot when other coaches from other schools say something. Um, there's a coach at Vernon, Jeff DeYoung, who I call, he's the guru of volleyball up here. That, that guy just knows everything about volleyball. I called him up. I said, who should be player of the year? And they had a, some very nice players. And he basically, in no uncertain terms, told me I'd be, a, I'd be an idiot if I didn't select this young man. And he said, he's very glad, as I told you, that you're graduating. So he doesn't see you anymore. Uh, the, the, the numbers, 192 digs, 405 kills, which is a season uh, school record, 67 blocks, 7 assists, 24 aces. All those are in the top five uh, for the season records at Pope John. And Pope John had a great year. They shared their division, the West Jersey Volleyball League, the American division. They hosted their first ever state tournament game. Uh, they beat Hackensack, and then they lost to Bloomfield. But he was a big part of this team that won 22 matches. Uh, he's going to play basketball at Bodoin. He had a great coach, and Brian Voden, who stepped in to take over the program. Mia Gavin started it years ago. But uh, this young man, I think, has just scratched the surface of what he can do athletically and academically. And I wish him the best of luck. So our Franklin Says His Auto Mall, Franklin Says His Hyundai, Boys Volleyball Player of the Year, Andy Ward from Pope John. We had a great year because... We all were returning from last year, and we were able to have great team chemistry from the start. So we were beating really good teams in our conference, and it all just came for, together for us this year. Again, uh, two guys are great athletes there. Nick Matuski, the boys uh, player of the year for tennis, just a sophomore. He has a great future. And 
Andy Ward, the big guy, six foot ten. He's going to do some nice things in college as well. So congratulations to those two young men. We'll have more here on the Sports Beat right after these messages here on Channel 10 and MugsMedia.com. Bill Snopper here, and at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, we're ready to rock your world. It's the Rockin' Festival of Saving. With explosive power cord discounts on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Lease a new 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4, just $199 a month. And a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, just $199 a month. We're all amped up to give you a big cash for your trade and the credit help you deserve. Don't miss the Rockin' Festival of Savings, Route 23 in Sussex. Drive and Discover event. United Water is now Suez, safe, clean water for the communities they serve. Sussex County Community College is a great place to branch out and figure out what suits you best and what fits you as an individual. The array of classes that they offer it was perfect. Professors will go out of their way for you. They'll sit with you until you understand completely. It was the right choice for me because it would save me money and I would be able to get all my gen eds done before you're moving on to a four-year university. Visit us at sussex.edu to find out more. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. Farmstead Golf and Country Club is the perfect place to host your event. Weddings, christenings, baby and bridal showers, and sports banquets. The staff at Farmstead will make your day a special one. The banquet facility overlooks their beautiful 27-hole golf course. Farmstead Golf and Country Club can also host your charity golf event. For more information on the Farmstead Banquet Facilities or to book your tea time, call 383-1666. Farmstead Golf and Country Club, located on Lawrence Road in Lafayette. Visit their website at farmsteadgolf.com. Welcome back to the Franklin Susses Hyundai, Franklin Susses Auto Mall Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary, as we come to the Auto Mall. And as Bill Snoffer and Eric Nielsen said, you don't have to buy here, but give them a shot. Come down, check it out. You'll enjoy your experience. Whether you buy the car or not, you're going to say, these people are great down here. Trust me, folks, they do a great job. They wouldn't win all the awards and be in business as long as they have if they don't have a great product and know how to sell it and service it. So our next awards were the Girls Track Awards. What a year for Girls Track. You know, you just pick up the local paper or go online, you see how many kids made the meet of champions, how many section champs we had from the area, group champs. I mean, just unprecedented what, what the, the Girls Track teams are doing up here. And there's so many good girls track teams and great athletes. So because of that, again, we have two athletes of the year for girls track. The first one I got to know is a soccer player, and she's a tremendous soccer player. And then I thought, you know, a lot of kids do something in the spring to get ready for the fall. Well, she's outstanding in both, so when she decides after she graduates what she's going to do at the next level, she has a choice of either sport because she's outstanding in both. She set school records in the 100, 200, 400, and was part of the school record relay team of the 400. At the NJAC small school meet, she won the 200 and 400 meters. Sussex Invitational, she won the 200. That's where she set a school uh, record. At the HWS tournament, she won the 400. At the North One Group 2, she won the 200 and 400 and was second in the 100. And at the Group 2 meet, she won a state championship and, and, and just was tremendous in the 400. She came in third in the 200. And then uh, in talking to her, she went to the MOC. She placed 13th. But uh, she had the thrill of a lifetime. And uh, it takes nothing away from her accomplishments. But uh, if you follow track, Cindy McLaughlin, who went to Union Catholic and made the United States Olympic team last year, was in the same heat as this young lady. Uh, she got to sit on the track and run a lap with arguably the greatest girls track, or not even just girls, track athlete to come out of this state of New Jersey. So it was quite a... Quite an accomplishment for her to do that, but just a, a great year. She never lost the race in the 400, but if you're going to lose, Sydney McLaughlin's not a bad person to lose to, so you can hang your hat on that. But just a great year, just a junior, uh, and as I said, outstanding in soccer as well. She'll be a candidate for this award in the fall in soccer as well, but just a great year for her. So for our Franklin Sussex Automobile, Franklin Sussex Hyundai, Girls Track Athlete of the Year, Kaylee Firth from Newton. It was great. I never expected to PR like I did in the four. I just wanted to try to get to meet a champs this season, but I never expected to be, end up being in the fastest heat or running with Sydney, so it was just an awesome experience. Our uh, track athlete year for girls, boy, what a year this young lady put together. 
just the just the accomplishments. You just look at him and you're like, wow. In the triple jump and the long jump, there's no one better in the area. Not even close. Although the triple jump, as I was joking before, but not really, has become quite the Sussex County event with Jason Rotundi and Andrew Pondisi on the boys' side, on the girls' side. This young lady, along with uh, Gianna McCombs from Sparta, just terrific. Um, at the NJAC meet at small, small school, she won the triple jump, second in the long jump. HWS won the triple jump, third in the long jump. At the North One Group One, won the triple jump, came first in the long jump, winning two section titles, pretty darn impressive. As you see the trend continue at the groups, she won the triple jump, came in third in the long jump. And then uh, pretty interesting at the meet of champions, we, her and I were talking beforehand, she wanted to break the Sussex County record. And she faltered on her first two attempts. So she had one try, not just, just a place now in the event, but maybe get that record. And she showed what kind of athlete she is with the mental fortitude. She got the record with a 39-7 and, uh, and a quarter jump coming in second in the entire state of New Jersey, just as a junior. Uh, she picked up the triple jump a couple of years ago. And uh, she, you know, she was doing it with someone in her heart this year, Steve Iannata. I don't know if you guys knew him. He was a coach and an educator at Walk Hill Valley. He died suddenly this past December and was her coach and got her into the triple jump. So he was in the back of her mind every time. And I think maybe Steve lifted you to that second place on that third jump. When you needed it, Steve was there, and uh, you did that. So, again, both of these young ladies that won this award, they're both juniors. And it's just going to be so much fun to see what you guys can do, getting tournament of champion medals hopefully next year. And uh, just a, a great season. And she did a great job for the Walk Hill Girls track team, which is a small school, but was the top team at the HWS from Sussex County. They were able to beat Pope John and Newton, two very good programs. And it says a lot about the, the small group of determined, outstanding athletes at Walk Hill. And she's obviously the leader of that group. So our uh, Franklin Sussex Hyundai, Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Girls Track Athlete of the Year from Walk Hill Valley, Samantha Lopes. I was really happy. I really worked hard because I was injured at the beginning of the season, so I wanted to really have a great season and finish well. And then we give out the Boys Track Athlete of the Year. We've had some terrific boys track athletes over the last few years. Uh, Andrew Pondicio last year was our player of the year from Sparta. You know, Dylan Capwell from a pack on a couple of years back was down at Monmouth. So we've always found in this little poster stamp a part of the state some great athletes. Uh, people wouldn't think Sussex County's got track athletes per se, but we certainly do. Uh, th this young man was the MVP of his team this year. He set the school record in the triple jump which has become a Sussex County specialty on both the boys' and girls' side. Uh, he with a 45, four-inch and three-quarter jump at the Sussex County Invitational, which, by the way, Jake Mull, the head coach at Newton, came up with a couple years ago, and it's a great event. It's perfectly placed between the HWS and the sectionals. It's, the, the times go towards seating, but it's a, a, a low... A, Low pressure event, everyone's getting a run in, and everyone from the county that normally might not see each other gets together. So Jake does a great job with that. So that's where he broke that. At the uh, NJAX, he came in third in the long jump, third in the triple jump. North won group two, won the long jump, and then the triple jump, a double sectional title, which is very impressive. At the group twos, he uh, placed the 20th in the long jump, eighth in the triple jump. And uh, at the HWS, he came in second in the triple jump. And he's going to go on to Virginia Tech next year as part of the ROTC program. And uh, he just had a great year. Unfortunately, I don't believe he's here. But uh, if Coach Tony Lombardo can come out to accept our Muggs Media, uh, Franklin Sussex Omaha, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Boys Track Athlete Year from Sporta High School, Jason Rotundi. Jason had a wonderful season, very proud of him. He was my team captain this year, great leadership potential. He had his eyes set on um, making the school record in the triple, and he accomplished that. He was actually down at the New Balance Outdoor Nationals this past uh, week weekend, excuse me, uh, and he's had a very successful season. He was very proud of his double gold at the sectional in the triple and the long. Uh, Jason has a bright future ahead of him. All right, I say it all the time, this little part of the state of New Jersey you wouldn't think would have the type of great track athletes that we do, but we do. We saw that at the banquet, uh, Samantha Lopes and Kaylee Firth, 
and uh, Jason Rotundi. And then there's other kids, Anna Campbell having a monster year at Pope John, a great career. Magnus Selden over at Walk Hill Valley. We just got so many good athletes, Andrew Pondicio. It's a lot of fun to follow. We'll have more here on the Sports Beat right after these messages here on Channel 10 at MugsMedia.com. Bill Snopper here, and at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, we're ready to rock your world. It's the Rockin' Festival of Saving. With explosive power cord discounts on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Lease a new 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4, just $199 a month. And a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, just $199 a month. We're all amped up to give you a big cash for your trade and the credit help you deserve. Don't miss the Rockin' Festival of Savings, Route 23 in Sussex. Drive and Discover event. Sussex County Community College is a great place to branch out and figure out what suits you best and what fits you as an individual. The array of classes that they offer it was perfect. Professors will go out of their way for you. They'll sit with you until you understand completely. It was the right choice for me because it would save me money and I would be able to get all my gen eds done before you're moving on to a four-year university. Visit us at sussex.edu to find out more. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland pop, Banks, pop, pop money. money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Our next awards are the Girls Lacrosse Awards. And uh, this team's been the dominant team uh, for the last four or five years. Uh, it seems like it's been in cycles. Vernon had an amazing run. Before that, Pope John had some great teams under Wendy Morris. But over the last four or five years, uh, this team has been terrific. They've dominated the Freedom North Division. Uh, they went 7-0 and this year, winning that division again, which has the likes of Randolph and uh, Roxbury and Morris Catholic and some very good teams. They finished 18-3 and overall. Uh, but it had a magical season and a historic season. Uh, we talk about, um, you know, the Sparta boys and what they're doing to become one of the best teams. Well, the Sparta girls got there uh, a little earlier than the boys. They went out and did something that no other lacrosse team from Sussex County has ever done, and that's win a section title. They went out and won the North 1 Group 2 title, beating Ramapo, who beat them earlier in the year. So it just shows the type of mental fortitude this group has, that they took that loss and worked towards it and beat that team the second time when they played when it meant everything. And win in April is nice, but a win in May, they give, they give you a trophy, you'll take that any time, beating them 16-15. Uh, they made another run for the third time in four years to get to the HWS final, uh, a game that looked like it was going to be a blowout. Hunter and Central was up 13-2 at the half, but this group of young ladies just came out with fire in their eyes and their bellies and made it a two-goal game late before the 100 Central goalie made a terrific save on a possession. Uh, but a great comeback. Then they made the run, winning the section title, beating Ramapo. Then they uh, played Bernards, who ended up winning the Group 2 state title. A terrific game. Bernards was ranked number 8 in the state. Sparta wasn't even ranked in the top 10. Sparta played as well or better than them. Again, a game down to the goalie from Burns made a great save. They ended up winning 16-15 and winning the state title. In the state title game, Bernards crew. So... Sparta would have won that game, they probably would have been state champs. And I think, as I said about the boys' program, there's a state championship in the girls' program future. Uh, just a terrific, terrific team. Kate Brennan couldn't make it today, but there's, there's no more fiery, inspirational coach than Kate. As being the old guy I am, I remember when Kate played in high school, and she was exactly that same way when she was at Newton, playing uh, be it, uh, tennis, basketball, track. She didn't even play lacrosse until she got to college, Kate. She played at LeMoyne. But uh, this team it was great. Some of the great players on our team. Obviously, uh, Kayla Mead, just a tremendous year. Uh, she had uh, uh, well over 100 goals. And uh, Jackie Halleck, it, the senior class really kind of got things going to get them where they are. Jackie Halleck being one of them, Juliana McGuire, Isabel Candelaro, Paige Ryan. Uh, and then the youngsters, uh, the Mead sisters are just juniors. They're committed to Michigan already. And then you also have kids that came on this year with key goals like Courtney Klein and Laura Neufeld, Brianna Falco, Bailey Takis, 
And then and in goal, you have a sophomore, Matty Levinson, who's the best goalie up here. So just another great year for Sparrow Lacrosse, a history-making year. So our girls lacrosse team from Franklin Sussex Old Mall, Franklin Sussex Hyundai, the Sparrow Sparrows, and Jackie, if you can come up and accept. It was awesome. Um, this year we really played as a team. We brought it together. We've wanted this for my four years of high school, and to get it this year was awesome to end my career. Our next award is Coach of the Year. I spoke about Kate Brennan, what a great job she's done at Sparta. Well, this gentleman has been a terrific coach for a very long time over at Vernon. I don't know anyone that's more dedicated to the sport of girls lacrosse than him as far as a coach. He'll go see other teams play to help his team be better. They'll go scout other teams and say, you know what, I saw something here. I'm going to use that with my kids. Um, just has a passion for the game, which is unmatched. Uh, was an assistant coach, took over the program from Sherry Quinn, who built it up. Sherry did a tremendous job. And uh, in 2011, they won the HWS tournament, first time ever for a team from up here. He had a very a tremendously talented kids on that team, like Jess Mills and Brittany Ast and uh, Steph Peterson and Leslie Werner. Uh, but... Since then, the other teams around the area kind of caught up, like Jefferson had good, some real good teams in Sparta, but he kept plugging along and keeping that program going. And we talked about Harry Shortway being the Pied Piper of lacrosse and for boys. On the girls' side in Vernon, it's this, uh, this gentleman. Uh, he gets kids that, you know, hey, he sees them in the hall as a, as a teacher. Why don't you try lacrosse? I know uh, of one player who was the daughter of a friend of mine, played softball, and then talked to coach. Next thing you know, she had a lacrosse stick in her hand. And, and is a starter and plays very well. Um, like I said, just a passion for the game. If, and if I needed any information about a league realignment or who's doing what, I call him because I know he's going to have the information because he's on top of it. He cares about his girls. He brings them down to Florida, gets them to bond and play in tournaments. So this year uh, they went 11 and 8. They won their first conference title since 2010. Um, a big thing for them. At the beginning of the year, they started the season. Their first division game was at Jefferson. It was a cold day. We did it as a game of the week. Jefferson had a great team. Melissa Hall's a class act and a great coach at Jefferson. And uh, Vernon was out there without their top scorer, Mackenzie Alter. And they were down early. Jefferson came out on fire. Coach Carlson called the timeout. Next thing you know, chipping away, chipping away. They win the game in overtime. I think it was Aaron Keneally with the goal. And that kind of set the tone. They went undefeated in the Colonial North at the butting heads with Pope John and Mount Olive all those years. They got that division. But some great seniors, Mackenzie Alter is going to play at Kane, Aaron Keneally, Olivia Balcado, Bree White, uh, and then some you know, youngsters like Haley DeBonto, who's just a freshman, Maddie DeVries, Allie Dombrowski, Katie Smoldone. And uh, just a lot of fun to watch. They beat a very improved Kittatinny team to wrap up the league title. Uh, that was a great game we did here on Channel 10. And again, I, I really don't know anyone that has more passion for coaching. He was a great athlete at Vernon High School, played soccer for John Ryan, was an outstanding swimmer for, uh, for Bob Trends, and he's really done a great job along with his assistant coach, Elise Shep. Those two have been a dynamic duo together at Vernon Lacrosse for a long time. So our Franklin says his own ball, Franklin says his Hyundai Girls Lacrosse Coach of the Year from Vernon, Steve Carlson. It was a great year, and, um, you know, it's really uh, accolades out to the girls in the program. Um, you know, we were 40 strong um, with our varsity and JVs. When we were playing division games, everybody was invested in the games. The, uh, you know, the energy that we had in our sidelines really matched the energy we had in the field. So all of those division games that we had, it was, it was 40 girls strong. Our, our next award is uh, we're going to move to uh, – the players of the year for girls lacrosse are the one player we mentioned, uh, Caitlin Mead, can't make it here. She's playing in a tournament, but she's already committed to, uh, along with her sister Haley, who was terrific on the draws. Uh, she's committed to Michigan, 140 goals this year, 35 assists for 175 points. In uh, her career, 242 goals, 65 assists, 307 points. She had six goals in the uh, eight, excuse me, nine goals in the game winner against Ramapo. Uh, she had 11 goals against Randolph. And it seemed whenever she went against another high scorer, she stepped it up. Randolph has a terrific player in T.T. Nislonski. They went head-to-head. -head, she did it. Ramapo has Daniel Van Kalkar, who was the leading scorer in Bergen County. She outscored her. Uh, she can do it all. Just a tremendous athlete. Um, but, you know, as we were saying before about the, the Sparta team, 
She, she couldn't have done it without her teammates. She had that great supporting cast around her. And she's the first one to say that every time I interview her. I say, Caitlin, you had a big game, nine goals. Couldn't have done it without my teammates. A very humble young lady who has a bright future. Unfortunately, she can't make it. But our Franklin Sussex All Mall, Franklin Sussex Hyundai, uh, <clears throat> player of the year for girls across. Uh, Caitlin Mead, if Jackie, if you can come up and set the reward, thank you. We have two awards in this sport for player of the year. Uh, when I talk about this player, her coach, Kate Brennan, a big smile comes on her face. She's like, I remember when she came to my first camp and she was running around and just a bundle of energy. And she said, kept thinking, oh, I can't wait until I get her in high school and harness that. And uh, boy, she's done a great job. Uh, she's part of that Sparta tradition from the ground floor on up onto the high school level. Got playing time as a freshman. More time as a sophomore. Had a monster la year last year as, as a junior. She was the New Jersey Herald Player of the Year last year. Well deserving. But uh, on a lot of other teams, she'd probably be the top scorer. But with Caitlin Mead, her job was to facilitate. She scored plenty of goals, no doubt. 90 goals is nothing to sniff at. But she had 45 assists for 135 points, 135 career goals, 83 assists, 268 points. But what she did on the fast break was just amazing. There was no one that could catch her. She had different gears. She's the fastest kid I've seen on the fast breaks that we mentioned before, a girl that played at Vernon, Brittany asked. Just unstoppable. She just would blow by people. And then when coach told her to put the brakes on, she put the brakes on, they went into their settled attack, and she'd find the open player. Uh, an unbelievable competitor with the game on the line. She wanted the ball on her stick to either make that shot, take that shot, or give to someone to win the game. And that's a, a great sign of a senior leader, part of a great senior class. So just a lot of fun watching her play. And so our Franklin Says his Autumn Ball, Franklin Says his Hyundai, girls across player here from Sparta High School, Jackie Halleck. Me and Caitlin, we work together so well, and uh, I'm going to miss playing with her next year. But it was just getting the ball and moving in transition, and that started with our midfield and then ended with me and Caitlin. So. Tell everyone what your future plans are for college and where you're going to play. I'm going to Ithaca College and I'm playing lacrosse. Bill Snopper here and at Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, we're ready to rock your world. It's the Rockin' Festival of Saving. With explosive power cord discounts on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Lease a new 2017 Jeep Cherokee 4x4, just $199 a month. And a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express 4x4, just $199 a month. We're all amped up to give you a big cash for your trade and the credit help you deserve. Don't miss the Rockin' Festival of Savings, Route 23 in Sussex. Drive and Discover event. Sussex County Community College is a great place to branch out and figure out what suits you best and what fits you as an individual. The array of classes that they offer. It was perfect. Professors will go out of their way for you. They'll sit with you until you understand completely. It was the right choice for me because it would save me money and I would be able to get all my gen eds done before moving on to a four-year university. Visit us at sussex.edu to find out more. Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. American Federal Mortgage knows shopping for a mortgage can be stressful. They have the lowest rates in the nation with their state approved lock and loan form. American Federal Mortgage has great customer service to answer your questions and concerns. They will get you into the home of your dreams. For more information, call 888-321-HOUSE or go to njmortgage.com. Party time or work time? Tri-State Rentals has the right tools and supplies for your next job or party. Event and wedding tents in many sizes, plus all the accessories you need to host that perfect party, including bounce houses, carnival games, and catering supplies. We also rent tools and equipment for any job, big or small, indoor or out. We rent, sell, and service Kubota tractors. Planning your next job or event just got easier. Visit Tri-State Rentals online at tristaterentals.com or visit our showroom, 105 Sparta Avenue, Newton. Welcome back to the Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Franklin Sussex Hyundai Sports Bean. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. I hope you enjoyed our banquet show as we honor the best that the Muggs Media area has to offer in spring sports. We want to thank all the sponsors that bought uh, ads in our program booklet, bought table sponsorships, Alex Aguado at State Farm in Sparta, 
uh, Arthur J. Gallagher, which George Morville is the man over there. He bought an ad, Pope John High School. We want to thank everyone that bought ads and contributed towards the booklet and the table sponsorships. So we want to give them a big shout out. Now it's time for our Orthopedic Institute in New Jersey Livewell Tip of the Week. Over the past decade, probably the biggest change has been really managing stress. So whether it's heart rate monitor systems or the GPS systems or daily, uh, you can use daily questionnaires. It's like a five question subjective, see how the athletes are doing. Has really become the biggest, the biggest change. So here we have our heart rate monitor system. We use a system from First Beat Sports. What it is is um, records in real time. So every player is wearing a heart rate strap as they're on the ice. There's a little receiver up in the corner and it'll capture everything in real time. The one thing that I, that I really look for is this score is a trimp score. It's, just, it's essentially a measure of volume. So we look at volume compared to time and that lets us know sort of how difficult practice is. So if it's an easy day, you might see a one to one ratio. So this would be 38 and you'd probably see a 38 there. That would be something like a morning skate. A hard practice is typically about one and a half, which is right where we're at now. So we'll probably end up at 40 minutes and 60, so 1.5. And a real hard day is generally two to one. So by measuring the intensity and workload of practice, we know if we're doing too much or doing too little and sort of hit that sweet spot every day. I think the injuries you see a lot with, with the younger populations are, are probably just overuse injuries. Uh, you get a lot of kids that play the same sports year round, so you're not really ever getting out of those movement patterns and you're just doing the same thing over and over again and eventually the tissue just can't handle it anymore and breaks down. Um, with our guys, so actually that even applies to our players, like we don't want guys to skate in the off season. So we, we push track workouts hard. Like we want guys to run to get them back into a more sagittal plane and get them out of here because they're here, you know, nine months out of the year. And people look at us and say like, you know, why do you bench press? That's still, that's old school. But the fact of the matter is hockey's the fastest sport with the highest speed collisions and having muscular shoulders is going to hold them together. So while having a, a big bench press might not help with a, a slap shot, it is going to help with getting smashed into the boards and having your joints maintain integrity and not get injured. Basically all their profiles here, you'd come in, you should just select your picture off a list. Normally we, we would have the lift already set, so it's set on deadlift. Say he's going at 245 pounds, you just hit the prepare. And then all he's got to do is start the exercise. When he starts the exercise and the, and the string starts to move, on the device, it'll start recording. And it gives them just instantaneous feedback on bar speed and power. So we can determine our workouts based off of speed instead of being kind of set into a percentage. When it comes to sort of recovery and feeling good throughout the year, nutrition and sleep are, are paramount. They're everything. I mean, they're everything. People love to talk about cold tubs, compression garments, uh, pneumatic air compression devices that help with like uh, lymphatic return, flush rides, massages, foam rollers, stretching. And while all that stuff has value, you can't, you can't replace nutrition and sleep. I mean, nutrition and sleep are everything. To set the guys up for success, we do provide breakfast and lunch every day. Uh, we'll provide post-game meals. We have breakfast and lunch on the road. So there's pretty much always food around so we can make sure these guys are, are adequately fuel, uh, fueled. So every day there's going to be a lean protein option, whether it's pork, chicken, uh, beef tenderloin, salmon, we, we rotate our proteins. Uh, there'll always be a starch carbohydrate option, usually it's potatoes, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, rice, and then there's always a vegetable option for fiber and actually some micronutrition. Um, always have a salad. Plenty of fresh fruit, they cut fruit every day. Really with anyone, like it's, it's all about progress, not perfection and really just uh, kind of, kind of, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. So even with myself, my, my in-season training, it drops off during the, during the season for sure. But I mean, I still get it done. I just keep it to the minimums. And really it's just uh, kind of the ebb and flow of motivation. Say you're not feeling very motivated, just, just keep training. You're, you know, you can cut your workouts down to a quarter or a half of what you were doing previously and just get through that funk, but don't stop. And then once you feel motivated again, you can just ramp it right back up. All right, as I always say, folks, from your toes to your neck, any of those joints you need fixed or rehabbed, it's the Orthopedic Institute in New Jersey. Uh, locations throughout Northwest New Jersey. They sponsor the Little Well Tip of the Week. They are a sponsor on the Sports Beat. 
sponsor on the games of the week. Uh, they know the value that we bring here at Muggs Media, and we really appreciate everything they do. Well, that'll wrap up this edition of the Sports Beat. Again, not too late if you're watching Friday night, Rocks, Ribs, and Ridges. It's, it's this weekend at the fairgrounds. It's always a great time, great show, great action. You can go check them out. And again, check out the Franklin Sussex Auto Mall Facebook page and Franklin Sussex Hyundai Facebook page to find out what's going on as far as events, what specials they got going on. So always a great time to go check out the great values here at the Auto Mall and at Hyundai during the summertime. And again, for advertising information, football season's coming up, info, info at mugsmedia.com. Plus, if you want to do a recruiting video, if you're a junior and you're looking to get ready for that senior season, we'll do the video, we'll shoot it, produce it, edit it, and send it to the college of your choice. We've done it for a long time. We've had great success. So that's also info at mugsmedia.com and all your video needs, corporate videos, commercial videos, whatever you need, we can do it here at mugsmedia.com and Mugs Media. So that'll wrap up this edition of the Sports Beat. We'll see you again next week. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. Good night, everyone.